What up with it? It's your boy Kita Holland at you, and today we're gonna be checking out the NBA 2K20 My Team Mode trailer. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. We're gonna try to, you know, pause it, stop a little bit, break it down a little bit, see what's going on with it. Let's go. Mr. Cassius. Here we go, man. Okay, the new card evolution. Hold up. All right. New dynamic goals. So it looks like they're going to give it a, the opportunity to earn MT based on certain cards. So if you get a card with a dynamic goal, you could do a little something like right here, 15 points, 10 assists, get you some extra MT. I'm all with it, 2K, man, giving us the opportunity to earn MT. Hey, get your hustle on. I'm all for it, giving us plenty of opportunity to get right, you feel me? Let's keep moving. All right, and I read in the blog a little bit earlier today, if we pause it right here, you're going to have the opportunity to pick a starter pack. And each one of these players, if I'm not mistaken, is an evolution card. So each one of these have the ability to go all the way up to Galaxy Opal, I believe. Now, initially, I was going to go with Tracy McGrady. Uh, most people would because he's an all-around, you know, shot creator, tall, can defend, can shoot, do all that, you know what I'm talking about. But... If 2K20 holds true with guards being faster than they have been in previous games, killing cards such as my pink diamond Allen Iverson card, love AI, my favorite player, but man, it, it, just a liability on defense, bro, and on offense because the height just meant so much, and he wasn't as quick as he should have been compared to other players, so they really killed that card for me personally in 2K, and you can see it towards, you know, the middle, right after his car came out. He was going for super low, and that's why, but if it stays true, I might go ahead and get that D-Rose, you know what I'm saying? If he got that true speed and you could really feel that difference, that D-Rose card might be a sleeper because everybody already then got scared away from guards, but he might be a true killer in this game. We're going to see. Let's continue. Okay, here we go with our evolution. So they ain't bad at all. 150 points, 25 dunks. That's nothing. That's nothing. And over here, it looks like you may have the ability to see, you know, what rank your card currently is. So it looks like this one is only the second tier tracy mcgrady and you have the ability to get up to five stars so that'd be dope and i'm sure there's probably some evolution cars that don't go all the way to galaxy opal but that'll be seen once it comes out over here on the side we can see multiple badges that are upgraded it looks like once you evolve your car and you get some stat boost so i'm all with it man if you stay loyal to a car you could really grind it out and also from an auction house perspective you can get your hustle on for real for real because people may want these cars you know, raw stroud of mud. So if you got a pure one still, you could probably sell it for a good number. Or you could grind it, you know, to like a diamond, pink diamond, and then say, hey, I put it in the work. So you could charge a little bit more MT. Because somebody else might be like, eh, I don't feel like doing all that with this car. I want a finished product or a somewhat finished product, you know, and they'll buy it for a higher price. Or go all the way to Galaxy Opal, really put it in the work. And then, you know, you can play with it till you get tired of it. And then you can sell that thing on the market for big money for what was essentially basically a free card for yourself. Not your freebie, but in case you draw other evolution cards that have the ability to be an opal. So that grants tremendous opportunity to hustle in 2K. I like it. Dope. Moved on up to a sapphire. Dunk on. Okay, so hold up right there in the stars it may have me believe that it's a cap so like for instance right here we're seeing the sapphire if i'm not mistaken and one star is already filled so that must mean he got his one evolution if he gets one more the cap might be amethyst so let me correct myself you maybe can only take your starter and make him an amethyst not a galaxy opal if these stars indicate you know how many evolutions this particular card has gone through. So, Amethyst, I'll still take it, but they're going to have to have evolution cards that get the Galaxy Opal. I believe they already showed in Isaiah Thomas in the blog, which actually has five different tiers, and you can indeed get that one all the way up to Galaxy Opal. So, I know there is. I don't even know why I'm guessing. Let's keep moving anyway. Don't Doubt myself, bro. Triple Threat, okay. Now, Triple Threat got a lot going on. 
as I understand it, when you play the CPU now, they've implemented a system where they kind of randomize the teams a little bit better. So when you're playing the CPU, you're not just playing the same teams over and over. It randomizes who you're going against. Also, look at all these rewards, man. I'm all for it. You got rewards over here for multiple wins and then win the game. You can get these different rewards and then you can spin so you can get the after prize wheel. That's dope. Thousand wins, you get that Galaxy Opal Dominique. I'm all for it. If you grind it out, man, it's going to pay off. There we go. We're looking at the new spin wheel. It's pretty nice little graphic. Not gonna look, not gonna look. How much MT was that? Hold up. Gonna look, gonna look, not. I'm trying to, okay, a thousand MT. Not, not bad. Not gonna look, not gonna look. Here we got the spin wheel. Yes! Dynamic events, dope. Weekly reward. Right, look, look, crossover, stuff back. Uh, like Wallace. Can't go ahead, look. <laughs> Decided, ain't it? Spotlight series, okay. Dope, so you get to play through a bunch of uh, historical moments from a player, it looks like. Let's see what we got going on for Dwayne Wade. So, his debut, playoffs game one, 2004, career high for his, okay. What's the reward? Ah! So, this claim, when you do spotlights, you can get teammates and maybe hopefully the player as well but probably more likely the teammates if you complete all of them that's dope too we got it we got it oh, you know, that's right there. okay that's okay So that like is gonna be dope man they got a bunch of different opportunities for you to really grind it out in my team this year man if you don't know, I do play both. I play my career and my team. I'm probably going to start with my team this year. But, I mean, not my team. I'm bugging. I'm going to start with my career, but I will be playing my team. Definitely, day one, I will definitely touch some my team. That's for sure. So, y'all let me know down in the comment section below. Are you a my career only guy that don't really mess with my team like that? Are you a my team only person that don't mess with my career like that? Or are you like me and you like to play both? Sometimes people will play a mode of death and then finally jump to the other one after a few months and, you know, switch it up a little bit. But me, I like to play both somewhat in parallel. When I get tired of career, then I take take on my team. When I get tired of my team, I go back to career. And, you know, I, I switch it on and off, man. But it looks like a bunch of opportunities to grind, man. It's going to be super dope. Y'all let me know down in the comment section below what you think about my team. Are you in? Are you out? Do you think it's hot or not? Until next time, it's been your boy Q-Tile hollering at you. Peace. Graphics are clean, man. They're clean.